Hello everyone, Dr Poppy here. Welcome back to my pet rescue centre. My next patient is Joe. He is a stick insect. Stick insects are some of the best creatures on the planet at camouflaging themselves. Camouflage is a way certain animals can blend in with their surroundings. It's a way of hiding from animals that might want to eat them. Joe? Are you there? I'm sorry, but I can't see you. Robbo, can you try and spot Joe? I don't think he's in there. I'm having trouble spotting Joe, Dr Poppy. Oh, there you are, Joe. Why are you sad? Oh dear, oh dear, Joe. You're sad because you're sick of being ignored by people. Listen, Joe, it's not that we don't like you. We just don't see you. Wear these clothes and coats of many colours. Then we can see you. Don't go hiding in the trees no more. Or crawl through the bushes on the forest floor. You can wear these anytime you want to. And we will see you. Yes, we can see you. Wow, look at that outfit, Joe. You look fantastic. You really stand out. I love the jacket. It's a perfect fit. You look amazing. Orange, purple, blue and red and yellow. They're all here for you. Of many colours, then we can see you. Once you know about the friends you have, you'll forget you ever felt so sad. You can wear these anytime you want to, and we will see you. Yes, we can see you. That looks so cool! Do you feel better now, Joe? And yes! We can see you! Here comes Shane the koala. Shane is eating eucalyptus leaves, which are a koala's favourite type of food. This is very strange. Normally Shane is so happy. I wonder what's wrong with him. I think Shane might be homesick, but I wonder where home is. Let's show him some pictures of places around the world and see which one makes Shane happy. Italy. America. Australia. Shane is from Australia which is on the other side of the world. Many people miss home when they are living somewhere different and they sometimes feel very sad and homesick. Well, let's sing a song to make him feel better, shall we? You're feeling homesick and that's because You're a long, long way from the land of Oz You miss visiting Sydney Opera House And going to the outback for a walkabout So there you go, Shane. 
Do you feel a bit happier now? And we have a little surprise for you, all the way from Australia. I think this one's for you, Shane. It's your cousin Bruce. Here comes Lucy, the goldfish. Many people think that goldfish have trouble remembering things. This is actually not true. Goldfish have memories that last three months. I do hope Lucy remembers what she's come here for today. Hi, Lucy. How can I help you today? Stop, 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 Lucy, before you hurt yourself. Hmm, I think I may know what's wrong, but I need your help, Robbo. I think Lucy needs an eye test. Please can you get some words up on the screen for Lucy? One eyesight test coming right up. Lucy, can you read this? Don't worry, Lucy. K, R, A, B spells crab. Let's try another. Never mind, Lucy. Sh, A, L spells shell. Hmm, I know. Robbo, I think Lucy has a problem with her eyesight. Can you please fetch the reading goggles? Try these out, Lucy. They're super special goggles that make you see better. Sometimes humans need to wear glasses to help them see better too. A perfect fit. Let's see if that makes a difference. That's right, Lucy. Fish spells fish. Well done. I think you just needed a pair of glasses, didn't you? Here comes Cecil the snail. As you've probably guessed, snails like Cecil are very slow movers. In fact, they are one of the slowest creatures on Earth. Oh, poor you, Cecil. You really don't look well at all. A little slime is good for a snail like Cecil as it helps them to move as well as protect them from the sun. But this is just too much slime. It means Cecil can't climb walls. He's just too slippery. I think Cecil may be suffering from a cold. I know how to make you feel better, Cecil, but we're going to need a bit of help from our friend Shane the koala. Robbo, do you remember Shane was eating eucalyptus leaves before? The oil from eucalyptus leaves can help with runny noses and coughs when you have a cold and should help our friend Cecil here. I think Shane is just leaving the pet rescue centre. I'll go and find him. Thank you so much for popping back, Shane. Now, Cecil, breathe in some of that precious eucalyptus oil and you'll start feeling better. Here comes Boris the pufferfish. Pufferfish scare other fish that want to eat them by swallowing large amounts of water which makes their body bigger and balloon-like. Boris sure looks sad today. I wonder what the problem is. Boris, can you show us how you puff up, please? Hmm, I think we need to take a closer look. This is a magnifying glass. If you look through it, things look Bigger. Ah, look everybody. There's a tiny puncture in Boris. This must be why he can't blow himself up. Robbo, a plaster please. 
One plaster coming right up. I'm sure that with this plaster, Boris will puff up again and be happy. Plasters are very useful because they help protect cups and can stop water escaping from a puffer fish. Did you know that snakes can't chew their food, so they have to swallow it whole? Hi there, Sally. Let's take a look at what might be the matter with you. Hmm, it looks like Sally might have swallowed something that doesn't belong there. I know that shape, but let me just double check. Robbo, I think we need to have a closer look. Can you take an x-ray, please? One x-ray coming right up. An x-ray is a machine that can see through things. We can use it to take pictures of our insides. It's a key! Oh dear, Sally, a key definitely doesn't belong in your tummy. Swallowing keys and other objects like this can be very dangerous. It could hurt your tummy and make you very unwell. <laughs> well... Now we know what the problem is, how can we remove the key from Sally's tummy? How about a magnet? Magnets are amazing. They have a magnetic force that can attract some types of metals, like iron. Good idea, Robbo. If we put the magnet against Sally's skin, it will pull the key towards it and we can move it along Sally's body and back out of her mouth. Stay calm, Sally. This won't hurt and the key will be out in no time at all. Hooray! It's out! How do you feel, Sally? Great work, Robbo. I think Sally's saying thank you. I think it must be my magnetic personality. This is Gordon the hamster. Hamsters like Gordon are very good at digging. They create big burrows in the soil where they live. Hi Gordon, you look like you're enjoying your wheel there. Oh dear, this is not good. It looks like you're going to be sick. Have some water. <coughs> Water makes you feel better by getting rid of headaches and keeping you refreshed. How often do you spin in your wheel, Gordon? Hmm, I think Gordon is travel sick. If you're going to play on your wheel for that long, you need something that will stop you feeling sick all the time. Ask your mummy or daddy to give you a spoonful of this every morning when you wake up and at night when you go to sleep and you can play all day long. Let's see how many circles Gordon can do in his wheel now, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten! Fantastic, Gordon. You really are talented. That's all from the Pet Rescue Centre today. Did you know you can download the Toddler Fun Learning app to watch more videos from me without adverts? Just tap here. See you again soon. Bye! Bye.